is a Trifield EMF meter. It's nice and simple. RF is for radio frequency, so we'll be checking out on that. I've been using it a little bit here and there, but we're going to go for a ride and see what it does when it comes across a 4G mast. You've got to remember the 4G and the 5G are quite different. The 5G have the big box at the bottom, but they're quite similar looking, and I think there's quite a bit of confusion as to what is 4G and what is 5G. From what I've read, um, they can use the 4G masts for 5G, so they'll be compatible with 5G. So I'm gonna gonna go round and have a look and see what the kind of like at the blanket coverage is of the 4G that's in this area, and then we can got to consider that if you amplify that by as much as 10, what coverage it would have. Um, so we'll go go and have a ride round, have a look, um, see how this thing performs. Um, I've got it mounted on the dashboard with a, a bit of blue tack there, that's good enough. Um, but I'll have a ride around now and see how this performs when we come across these uh, 4G masts because, as I said, 5G isn't switched on here yet. Just so you get the gist, um, this is the meter working and I'll turn it on, I'll turn, it on. turn the camera on when I come across uh, a signal. You can see it's spiking a little bit there. No, it's not so much that, it's the phone ringing. That's the phone ringing in my pocket that it's biking. You can see this reading, it's kicking off at the moment. I'm just going to show you why it's actually um, re registering. Um, so it's pretty sunny, so... Although we can see a bank of 4G could be 5G on the top of that building there. I'm going to say 5G, it could be set up for 5G. I know it's not switched on yet, but as I say, it's differentiating 5G from 4G. But you can see the reading that you're getting from that far away. So let's just head a little bit closer to it. And uh, See, if, see what happens. Nice array of um, equipment up there. As I say, I'm just showing you and doing a little video on how this um, how this meter's working. There we go. That's closing that. Let's go somewhere else now. So just as I'm driving around you can see the fluctuation and that's showing you how much frequency, um, how much radio frequency is about as to whether how damn it, it's not, obviously this is just showing you um, what's, what's about which is quite interesting. Um, so I'm just going to see if it goes off a bit more, I could do with really filming the um, all the time but as I say this this is just basically driving around and looking for hot spots Yeah, and it's a different colour, it might be, um, it might 
see it's going a bit nuts here and this is why because you've got some more equipment up here when you get one of these meters it actually uh, makes it damn sight easier to find these things as I say this is all a 4G frequency this 5G frequency would be much higher um, I'm, I'm certainly not an expert on this but I'm, um, I'm learning as I go along This is the constant frequency that's been dished out by that 4G mast there. So you can imagine if you utilise that 4G for 5G, then that reading would be perhaps seven, eight times higher. And you can already see we're blanketed in, in this area. In this car park we're blanketed with um, with our F frequency. So. I'm just trying to get the gist of um, 4G, 5G, you know, I mean at the end of the day 4G is much, the bandwidth is much smaller than, um, than 5G, it's kind of minuscule and you've got to understand that this meter is already maxing out and this is only a 4G meter, uh, a 4G um, mast, so you can imagine if it was 5G It'd be pushing out far more than this, and you can imagine the uh, amount of damage it'd do to people. But as I say, just trying to, you know, kind of show show this um, how much frequency is about. I've only just got this meter, so obviously I'm trying it out, see what's going on. 